Hello everyone, Phoenix Knight here. Welcome to the channel. When I was up in my game store for my group's big game day yesterday, I decided to pick up Heat Pedal to the Metal from Days of Wonder. I played it for the first time on Monday night at our last week at our social game night, which is designed for smaller games. And I'm surprised I surprised myself with how much I enjoyed it. I normally don't go for racing games. But I liked this one, so I decided to grab it, especially after research looked like it was going to play well solo. And the solo mode, while initially confusing, kind of made sense after I watched a couple playthroughs of it. So, let's go ahead, turn, it, turn the box over, and take a look at the back. There's a lot here, so we're not going to go through absolutely everything in the in, on the back. The countdown begins, and sudden deep roars cut through the air as all the cars leap away from their starting lines. The Grand Prix is underway. Dust and wind rush, rush past your helmet as you enter the first corner. Pushing your engine to the limit, you almost spin out. But tightening your grip on the steering wheel, you slide through the corner apex still in first. You got this. There's no prize for crossing the finish line in a pristine car, so put your pedal to the metal. Game by Days of Wonder, and we, got the, we have the sleeve packs down there. I'll probably need some more sleeves to get everything sleeved up. But I th we can see down here it plays 1 to 6, 10 plus, and 60 minutes. So let's go ahead and tear this, get the shrink wrap off, and we'll see what we've got in here. I can close that carefully. And the shrink wrap is now off. So now we can start to get into the box and see what we've got here. We're greeted by the rule book. We'll give that our cursory thumb through toward the end. Looks like we've got at least one sheet of punch board here, probably just the one. Actually, let me bring that down just a touch. Okay. And then the other side of that, once again, being careful because I don't want to punch it before I'm ready. Advanced play and championship system, which will give a cursory, which will also give a thumb through. And our various player boards. And the colors, I'm not going to... Well, well looks like we can show off most of them. So we've got our various colors there. Those look to be exactly the same. I believe that's for solo mode. Actually, one of the, actually a couple of those board, those might be for solo mode. We can get that out of the way. It does not want to move for me. We'll get, put that all the way over here. Then we start to get into our tracks. Let's see if we can get this wide open. We'll zoom out. So we've got our USA track. Looks like the tracks, as I'm unfolding these, are double-sided. Come on. Okay, let me get that out of my way. Actually, I'm going to get that box, get that side of the box out of the way as well. Let's see, I'm zoomed out as far as I can get. So that's the USA track, which I believe is the introductory track, but we'll find that out when we check the rules. It makes sense that this would be the introductory track. Then on the other side, we've got Italia, aka Italy. This one seems a little more straightforward from the looks of it. You've got your speed limits here where that's the speed you have to be going at when you hit that corner. Otherwise, you take excess, you take heat penalties. We can get that out of the way as well. Then coming back, that France seems like another pretty straightforward board, and we'll flip this over. He does it to reveal Great Britain. 
it looks like we got our tracks or or uh, what you call the race glory track essentially over here on the left hand side along with the weather module so that's all of the boards let's see what else we've got in here we can bring this box back in shot we've got all of our cards that are in what feels like tissue paper we've got three sets of those two and three I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get those open until I'm ready to sleeve everything the insert might stay depending on how well it does with sleeved cards got our our pegboard essentially our uh, player pegs for the gear shifting score pad which I believe that went right here and our cars I don't think there's anything else in box there is not okay so the box is now completely empty okay come on all right that's back in we can put the boards back in bring these player boards and the punch board back in as well feels like that should still close then we're going to give our rule books the cursory thumb through paper seems to be pretty normal maybe a little on the glossy side but let me zoom the camera in just a touch that should do all right let's take a look at what we've got here so this is the core rule book that we're looking at first seems like it's gonna be a pretty thin rule book yep they're suggesting USA as your introductory track how to play around talking about heat cards okay so that's the core rule book now we have the advanced play in the championship system the extra components that are that go with that and the garage module building your car Legend, legends module which is probably how you can play solo Okay, championship system. Tournament mode. And that's everything with a nice little quick reference card, quick reference sheet. That, let me just, let's go ahead and get the box back on here. Okay, cool. So that is everything in the box with heat pedal to the metal. As far as what's scheduled on the channel, Wednesday we're debuting Call to Adventure Epic Origins from... Uh, it's not everything epic. I'm trying to think who it's from. Uh, Brother, Brother Wise Games, that's who it... Right? Yes, Brother Wise Games is who that's from. Next week we have the greatest boxer tournament in Title Bout 2 with the last quarterfinal round in Lost Carcosa. But before that, Saturday, Mystical Munchies concludes out of the official World of Warcraft cookbook with the dessert, Dalaran Brownie. I'll mention right now that if you're wanting to get anything on the channel for the Ask Me Anything segment in the monthly recap, the Greatest Boxer Tournament bout in Title Bout 2 is probably going to be the last video for that. So remember to get your questions in, the, in any video until up to then with an AMA tag, so I'll answer them during the end of October recap. Thank you for watching the video. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on notifications so you get my content. Be well, stay safe, take care of yourselves and your loved ones, and I'll be back with more videos in the future. Until then, take care everyone.